work in central booking for close to a year now. This jail is a direct supervision jail, which means that the deputy interacts with the inmates in the pod. They're all out and about, walking about, and we are mingling among them, making sure that everything gets taken care of and all the process gets done. What is this one here for? Uh, assault or better, better on law enforcement. Stand up. Stand up. I'm going to help you up. Come on. I'm going to tell you I got a damn new bathroom. Well, that's fine, but we got a procedure we got to follow. And you're using the bathroom. Come second to that. I guess he didn't want to wait. And uh, before you there. knew it, he was sitting in the chairs and Go he just wet himself. Yes, Go down to your knees. Go down on your knees. I got you. All right, we're going to let you face first down. I'm going to hold you up so you don't hit your face. Gotcha. We decided to put him in the holding cell to get him to start acting right with the process like he should have been. And then then. <coughs> All right. When you hear the door shut, you can get up. Got it? Got it. Oh. This was the spitter. Was it? Yeah. Okay, that's, what, uh, that's what he said. Hey, what you want to do? What's going on? He's pretending like he can't stand up. He's fine. What's he here for? What's he here for? You had a few beers? Yeah. Like what? Like six, more than six. Oh. How many? I had more than six beers. More than six beers? Yeah, I've had like two six packs. Go sit down. Sit down. Two six packs or more than six? Sit down. More. Ow. Can, can. He was fighting with the bouncers at the strip club, and they were holding him down, and he was yelling and screaming. Right. They've been trying to fight people inside. No, I never tried to fight people inside. Stop nope. lying. Well, you've been laying on the ground pretending like you can't <coughs> stand up, and now you're standing up oh, like a real man. Okay. okay. Now you can talk. Before ask. you're just babbling. Why would I want to ask? Does it try to no. kick you got any property for him? Yeah. It's up there. Come on, let's go. Walk. Come over here. Walk. We ain't having your attitude today, sir. I'm not, I'm not giving that to you. Listen to me. You're going to go in here until you sober up. When that point comes, you can come out and get processed. All right? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead in. And don't bang on the glass. Step in there. But he's too intoxicated right now. We'll just keep an eye on him. 30 minute watches. Once he comes down and uh, starts acting like he's gonna follow the process, we'll let him back out. Came in the property for the other guy? Yeah, this is for the other guy. him in this holding cell, move him around to another one. There's no reason for this. They're not going to fight you. I'm here to lay in the ground, man. Okay, no. Get up. Okay, no. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. You got feet. Get up. You're costing me a lot of aggravation, boy. No, I ain't chosen. Right here. I ain't causing nothing. Don't move. I ain't causing nothing. I'm telling you. No? So he was just hitting you by himself, yes. right? Yes! we're not moving around. Yeah, I'm telling you. Whatever. Right here, right here. On your knees. Come to your knees. Right, right, right. When I take this off, I want that hand over your head. Yes, Nowhere sir. else but over your head. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. He yes, hit me there. Look, he hit me right there. Wait, 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 wait. Same thing. Wait, 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 wait. He hit Marsh. I didn't know that. He needs to put, put him in the chair. Put him in the chair. Put him in the chair. Put him in the he hit one of my deputies, and at that point, he crossed the line. Right now, he'll be going into the restraint chair, and probably uh, he could be looking at additional charges. A battery on law enforcement officer, which is a third-degree felony. We're ready. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I checked everything. Sit all the way down, man. All the way down. All the way down. Hands all the way behind Sit back. back. Sit back. Sit back. I'm, I'm all the way back. Whatever martial I hit, I did not mean to hit. I was just self -pitting. Yeah, what's her name? Yes, tight. Tight. You got a female going to do the holding cell. To be honest, 
I've got to go in the office and pull up on my PC exactly what transpires I'm holding cell because I'm not really sure yet. Throughout the jail, we have a system where everything is electronically monitored. I can pull up from my PC any camera over here at Orient and even some over at the other jail. It looks like the uh, the white male we placed in, in the holding cell there got up and looks like he got in the, the black male's face and they had some words and at that time the black male jumps up and it's on and that's how the fight occurred. And to show you how well these cells keep the sound in, there's a staff member standing right here doesn't even hear the fight going on. It only took about 15 seconds for the staff to get in there and to break it up. This will definitely go to the jail detective and that way he'll put a uh, additional charge on the white male that uh, struck uh, Deputy Marsh. Basically, he's going to sit in the restraint chair until he can calm down, until he can cooperate with the process. He came in on a simple charge, could have handled it while he was here. He's here on vacation. Come on vacation, leave on probation. commander of Green Bay Unit, one of four jails in the Tarrant County confinement system. We are five acres under roof. This facility is the largest single level jail in the state right now. I love working in confinement. I've been in confinement for about 16 years. You doing all right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You're laughing, man. You, you liking it or loving it or what? I'm loving it, man. I'm just I'm waiting to get out, man. Waiting you waiting to get out? Have you been, you been to court yet? <clears throat> no, they, they, uh, they canceled it, man. They can't find the uh, victim, so. Oh, you got lucky then, huh? Yeah. All right. You kind of become a counselor. It takes a lot to deal with these type of inmates. Hey, that's kind of dangerous. Yeah, I know, but you could hurt yourself, and that's my concern. All right? Don't be doing that, please. If it is possible, as much as it depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Are you going to try to change some of these guys? I try to do it every day. So do y'all listen to what he says? Yeah, all the time. Do you? Are y'all going to take it for heart right now and use it when you get out? I think that's a good thing. Let me see your new tattoo. Hey, don't be shy. I, I'm, this ain't my first barbecue, I know. When did you do that? Here and here? Days ago. Oh. Brand new, huh? What you doing, man? You got to earn your right now that you're in jail. You got to get no, a tattoo here. I didn't like that. Go to the store where it's cleaner, man. You know you can catch something doing that? Then why do you do it? Why are we in here? You need to influence that one a little bit more. <laughs> All right. Good afternoon, everybody. How's it going? Good. While I was walking around today, I did see a fresh tattoo in 41 Franco 1. We're going to be doing a shakedown right after briefing. SRT guys, please report over there. Uh, we're going to do the surprise on them, go in, pull them away from their bunks, get them on one side, escort them to the gym. I think they got a tattoo needle in there. Remember, be careful how we pat down. Do not want to get stuck with one of those needles. All right? Let's go to work. Call SC, give my heads up so we can go boom, boom right through the doors and go through. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, gentlemen, everybody up. Up front, up front here. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, over here, over here. Against the wall, against the wall. We won't mess with you stuff, I promise. All right, grab the wall. ID in your hand, sir. ID in shoes. Let's roll, let's roll. Make sure we're down inside here. Get down here at the back. Thank y'all, thank y'all. Come on now. Got one? I think we found a blade that they've had hidden in here. Let's see if we can see it. There it is, right there. Be careful, make sure you use something to pull that out. Don't use your finger, okay? See if we can find a pin or something. You got it? Good. This right here, melted on the end of a pin is something that they use to cut people with. Good job. You found another item? Uh, here, sir. OK, see if you can pull it out again. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. There we go, another one. Yeah. 
Reservoir. You got it? There it is. That's the tattoo ink right there. This is a big find. If we have this, we have a needle somewhere, guys. We've got to find it. This is the guy's bump. Oh, you guys think mm -hmm. all that? Mm -hmm. Found it. Found it. Um, they're taking the ballpoint out of a pen. What'd y'all guys find? We got the found it. We found it. Looky here. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. The needle was actually, this was, was stuck in the bottom of the bunk. We found this in the crate itself. So. Good job. Good job. Got the pad, got the ink, got the needle. And we got the tattoo that he had. <laughs> this right here will match up with his arm. We're going to pull that individual aside and we're going to talk to him and we're going to have all this. He's just going to have to say, well, yeah, I did it. He does not have any choice. Right your back, fellas. What's happening? Why do you think I have you here? Because I was doing something illegal. You're doing something illegal? Mm -hmm. Stand up here. Talk to me, man. Let me see your tat. So who's the guy doing this to you? I just don't want to put, I'm not like that kind of a person to put somebody into trouble when it was my decision then. You're not putting them in trouble. I'm trying to prevent others from getting into trouble also, okay? We're trying to prevent this from being spread. And how do I know you're telling me the truth? Now, you know how many times I've been told that? What? I've what? been lied to my whole life. I understand. You tell me, why do I need to lie to you? What's, what's, what's the gain to me? I just want you to work with me. You know, I'm trying to make this, this experience that you're going through jail as easy as possible for you. That's all I'm trying to do. And I don't want you to be injured. Your safety is my concern. Your health is my concern. And I don't want you to hurt yourself. You know? That's what I don't want. I already got the stuff out of there. I have nothing to gain. What does that look? That's your design. Let me look at your arm. Wow, that matches pretty good, don't it? That sure does lead up to you. Yeah, I know that. This is this is all sewed up right here. I mean, you you're, you're caught. 